A drug trafficker from Venezuela may be at the bottom of the Caribbean Sea after being accused of theft, News.com has learned. Videos posted to X, formerly Twitter, show Reynaldo Fuentes tied to an anchor at the waist and thrown overboard from a boat near Martinique on Monday, July 17. Fuentes, 68, was beaten, bound with zip ties and gagged. He has no way to save himself, one of Fuentes' abusers is heard saying on the video. Fuentes was accused of stealing 450 pounds of cocaine, valued at $10 million, which was heading for the British Virgin Islands. He was a middleman for the Clan del Cartel Mexican drug business. Fuentes reportedly dumped the cocaine in the water, hoping to keep the money. Then he tried to send the cocaine to another Caribbean island in different packaging, while telling his bosses he had been chased by Coast Guard personnel. But when his bosses found out what happened, Fuentes reportedly was invited to a cartel meeting, where he was beaten and left to die. A Dominican Republic broadcast which broke the story on Monday, August 28 said Fuentes was in charge of drug dealing in a neighborhood of Buenos Aires, Argentina. He reportedly was nicknamed Taliban because he had drug contacts in the Middle East. He had fake papers calling himself Miguel Folker, a Dominican Republic resident. According to DailyMail.com, it's not clear if anyone has been arrested for killing Fuentes. It may have occurred in international waters, the Dominican Republic's military reports the death occurred outside its jurisdiction. Britain's Daily Star tabloid added that Fuentes was dating a well-known Venezuelan attorney. The Clan del Cartel has existed for close to a century. It smuggled alcohol into the U.S. during the years of Prohibition, from 1919 to 1933. The cartel moved full-time into illegal drugs in the 1980s. But the battle to stop cocaine shipments is ongoing around the world. News reported in late August on an interdiction by Mexico's Navy, where a high-speed chase at sea led to the seizure of 9,700 pounds of cocaine. KVO-TV reported on Tuesday, September 5 about a U.S. citizen arrested at the Mexican border for hiding almost 7 pounds of cocaine in a new car battery. Jesus Hinojosa Mines was accused of making several trips back and forth across the border in a three-hour period on August 28. Hinojosa claimed he works as a diesel mechanic in both Brownsville, Texas and Matamoros, Mexico, and was offered a new battery by strangers after his car had trouble starting.